Okay guys, here are your predictions for the AQA 2017 P1 paper. I am just a teacher, I am not an examiner, I do not have any insider secrets, I do not know any secret knowledge, I am just making educated guesses based on the specification and the last couple of years papers. So don't just revise what I say in here, please revise everything really, really fully. Now about 30% of your P1 paper is going to be based on math skills. It is essential that you learn your units. If you're struggling with your units, I've made a flashcard video, there are flashcards over on my website for you to download. Go and learn your units. Um, a couple of years ago the last question on paper was a really really nasty question and it was what are the units for specific heat capacity? And everyone went, oh, I don't know. Because they haven't learned their units. Okay, specific heat capacity is a nasty, nasty one. It's joules per kilogram degree C. Um, but it is essential that you learn your units. To help you with all of the maths that you over my website, there is um, a math skills book for P1. Also over my classroom channel, there are loads and loads of videos. Now, if we're thinking about getting an A star in this paper, we need to pay attention to detail. We need to be looking for non-standard units, we need to be looking for significant figures, and we need to be looking for standard form. Now these are things that don't generally come up in science, or you don't think generally come up in science, they're more math things, but they come up every single year in one of the papers, whether it's physics, biology last year, or chemistry, it is going to, going to come up. So please, please, please make sure you can do that bit really, really well. And again, there's loads and loads of stuff over on my website to help you with that. Also over on my website are gonna be predicted exam papers based on what I think is going to be on the paper. So based on what I'm talking about now, just over my website, loads and loads of stuff for you to download. I'm trying to make your revision as easy as possible and to help you get as many marks as we possibly can get. So you know you are the last year to be sitting this specification. And I think what I'm seeing in the papers is that the new style of specification is actually influencing the old specification exam papers quite a lot. So what you're going to expect to see is lots of experiment questions, um, lots of situations that maybe you're not familiar with but you have to interpret the experiment. Lots of graph questions as well. So work out what your graphs are, work out what, you know, the standard graphs that you have to learn for physics, and then we need to be thinking about biology skills, we need to be thinking about chemistry skills, bringing them into your physics paper. Can we interpret a graph properly? In 2016, the six mark question was renewable energy. So I think this year's six mark question is going to be um, a more physics-y one. That was quite a soft question. I think this year is gonna be quite a hard question. So the things that I think might come up with a six mark question this year are the vacuum flask question. This is a fantastic, fantastic question. Partly because they've asked it loads and loads of times before, so you can go and make a standard stock answer or go and watch my video on the standard stock answer. Um, and it covers loads and loads of physics points in there. So this might be a really good question for them to ask. Another thing they might ask is about the Big Bang, about Doppler, about infrared, because it didn't come up on last year's paper. Now I'm always suspicious when stuff doesn't come up in a paper. That's gonna be kind of like, one of the things I think is really going to come up on this year's paper, anything that didn't come up on last year's paper. And the thing they didn't ask very much about on last year's paper was um, electromagnetic spectrum, waves, communication, all of that. So if I was going to think about six mark questions, that's what I think it could be. But the examiners might throw a curveball in and ask why renewable energy again. Last year's paper ended with particle theory and evaporation, conduction and convection. So this year's paper might start with it. They might take the really hard questions from last year's paper and then start off the paper with some nice easy questions about those. So we're thinking about particle theory, conduction, um, radiation, convection, evaporation, all the different ways of heat transfer. So like surfaces, um, absorption, emission, all the things that come up in the start of the course, you need to know really well, because I think there's gonna be a lot of short questions on those this year. The things that didn't come up very much last year were fossil fuels and generating electricity, because while renewable energy came up, only two 
two types of renewable energy came up and there wasn't much about the consequences of them. So that would be a key thing to revise. Energy transformation, so energy in and energy out, didn't come up last year. And then linking in with that efficiency calculations. These can be a nasty one because, well, people tend, tend to get tripped up by the equation here. And then lastly, electricity. So we're talking about um, not only generation, but cost of electricity as well. Bringing the paper more into the real world, which links into making it like the new specification. Um, okay guys, I hope that was helpful. Over on my website there's a free revision guide which will help you revise, strangely enough. Um, if there's anything else I can do, let me know. Um, but please, don't just revise the stuff that I've mentioned in here. Please revise everything because I don't know what is going to come up in the paper. I'm just guessing.